Ladies and gentlemen, and today I have a very special video for you guys. So this is the first part of my walk through GTA Vice City. And this is the first game I've ever played in my life. And last time I played this game when I was a 5 year old kid. And now I'm gonna play this game for the first time in 11 years. Oh man, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. Like you just imagine that I'm going to play this game right now for the first time in 11 years. And I completely forgot about everything on this game. The characters, the storyline, even the even the gameplay. I forgot about the gameplay. But maybe I still do remember some missions here. Also, when every time I go to the nightclub, I was staring at the cop. Like, why that cop is dancing with a cop outfit? Like, why he's not wearing a suit? Why he's not wearing appropriately, you know? Like, he's dancing in front of everybody with a cop outfit. So that was just weird. That was just, like, ridiculous. But it's funny at the same time, though. But Officer Tim Penny hadn't done that before, so... But now, let's play this game for the first time in 11 years. So, yeah, let's do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Let me know in the comments if you want the series continues. And, yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like and comment. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a nice watch. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit!
I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. I smile at everyone. I smile at everyone. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's reasons. wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. You got ID? Incoming fire!
nice bike. You got me here. What are you gonna do with me? No, my bike! Did you blind or something? Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... Rooms. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? It's silent. Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle, if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Fish Steve Scott. The throws a passion with the Nippo invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. And now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as if a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, the nada, day. amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very tried. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. Handsome. I'm sure you will. Oh, on. Ah, 
Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this limey, some music industry slimeball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg? Rosenberg? Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate? It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? What you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Shit. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey. Chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. A local gun shops a couple of blocks away.
I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. You got a reservation? No? Then get lost. Hey, get off me! Are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Wait here while I sing you a song. Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Dumb Florida moron. I smile at everyone. Go run your mom over! I can't believe this is happening! You remember Giorgio? You remember he's innocent?
Sir, you must stop now. Hey man, my God! Leave my damn car alone, man! Yo, man, I still got payments to make on this! Oh, please, God! Someone help me! Giorgio sends his regards. Got no suntan. We well, ain't got my money either, so I'm wondering to myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should, stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks.
Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a wig before. Me. Nice ass, baby. Is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! Get off! Ah!
Okay, I do remember this mission. I do remember the I do remember the blowing up trucks mission. But that's it for here now, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Let me know in the comments if you want the series continues. And yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a like and comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.